create fields at 24 meters? Oh yeah. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Today, we have some big updates for you. Now, the HJM Special Low Loader, nothing too crazy about it. Honestly, it's just a really good update and gets it well with the game. However, this guy right here, this is a massive update. Let's check it out. First up today, we have an update and we've got a new name for this mod. This is the Field Creator Pack. This was the PSXB Field Creator Pack. This mod has been given a new name because with this mod, it's not just a single cultivator from AgriSim, but it is 90% of all disc arrows and cultivators from the main game you can use to plow. Yes, you can. It is awesome. I have taken off the Cultivate Plow mod on PC just to show you guys this. It is absolutely amazing. So there are a lot of different ones that work and I'm going to show you every single one that works. So we've got three different setups. First up, we're going to go into Power Harrows and we've got a couple here. We have the Rabe MKE 300, this guy right here, and we have the Kuhn HR 4004. Both of these will work. Now, down into cultivators, we're going to go in here. We're going to go past everything. You can see down at the bottom, it's going to say mod, and it's going to say this mod allows creation of fields with this machine. It is not possible to hire a helper, and it is advised to rent this machine only. That is one thing. In order to create fields, you cannot hire a helper. We will be testing all that out, but we have the Rayu Polymag 300. We have the Stara Fox 11. Yes, you can create fields and plant at the same time. Again, with the Stara ASA Laser CR DCR 13, you can also do the exact same thing with the Horse Tiger 6 DT and the Amazon Census 8003, the Horse 12 XL. This is where it's getting cool because it's a 12 meter cultivator right there. And yes, you can even do it with the Bednar Swifter at 18.2 meters and the Flexicoil ST820 at 24 meters, nine miles per hour. Oh man, is that not cool or what? So those are the ones in cultivators in disc arrows. Come in here and we have right about, let's see, gotta go past all these, don't we? Seems not possible. You got to check out the bottom. So we're going to start right here with a big TT $13,000 right here. Uh, 3.4 meter. We also have the, the Cavernland uh, Koala Disc Farmer 3000 at 3 meter. You've got the Agrimass BTC50H at 5 meters. The Amazon Catros, which I'm going to be fully using that guy right there. You also have the Coon Disco Lander 6 meter. Now, again, with this one, you can plant. So you've got that as well. Again, over here, the Coon Performer at four meters. Now it gets cool. The Vaderstad Carrier XL at 8.3 meters. The Horse Joker 12 RT. You guys see me using this mod all the time. I have a modded version of this. However, now you guys can do it too at 12.2 meters. And finally, the Lemkin Giant 12S at 16 meters. Man, is this not cool or what? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to jump in our tractor right here. We're gonna turn it on. And what we wanna do is we wanna hit, if you're on Xbox, you're gonna hit left bumper. Uh, if you are on PlayStation, you're gonna hit L1. Press that, allow create fields, just like you would if you were using a plow. We're going to pull forward because we are lowered. So we'll show you that. We are lowered down. So it's not doing anything right now. However, if we hit that, allow create fields, now we are creating fields. Now, some of these implements work with fast farming. Some of them don't. It just depends on how fast you can get it. With this one, I have had a devil of a time getting it to work with fast farming. So as you can see right there, it just stops working all of a sudden. So I end up having to raise it and lower it again just to make it work, unfortunately. Uh, but if you guys find any that you find that work, let me know down in the comment section below. Now there was a thing that said, hey, this will not be able to hire a helper with. Okay, well, you know what? I am going to try to hire a helper anyway. There's a reason 
that you can't hire helpers with field creation. The big reason there is because it doesn't know where to go. Helpers only work in fields. So if there is no field, well, they don't know where to go. Only you can create the fields. Now, here's another thing. What if we get it near a field, okay? What if we get a near field like right here and I have field creation turned on? Well, there is no helper. Why is this? Because there is no option. That option has been taken away. So there is physically no option to hire a worker with these. If you don't hire workers ever, then this is definitely a way that you want to go. But this is not the in-game version. This is a modded version of it. So again, right here, you can see here's the flex coil in-game. None leased, none purchased. However, if we bump over to the modded one right here, you can see that we have two of them at least. So again, just keep in mind, this is a mod, not a modification to base game equipment. So you need to have the mod installed. And lastly, today we've got an update to the HJM Special Low Loader TL38. Now, I know a lot of you guys use this for moving your tractors back and forth, moving forestry equipment back and forth, so on and so forth. This is a really good looking mod. However, there has been a little bit of a problem with the new game patch, the 1.4.1. It took away some of the abilities uh, as far as the animations go. So let's hop in. I've got it hooked up right here to our man TGX26. And let's take a look here. So we're going to unfold. And now our animations are working again. So we've got that side working. That opens up, sets that down. And it opens perfectly. Also, we can unfold. So I'm going to unfold. There we go. What it's doing is it's taking all of the uh, all the warning signs, everything, bringing them out a little further. Also, we do have a beacon on here. Of course, being on PC, I have realistic beacons turned on. But nonetheless, there you go. And if we want to turn all those off, get everything folded back up, you can easily do that without issues. How's about that? It's just good looking. Now, a couple things have been added as well as the animations. Rim colors have been enhanced and they have added chrome and polished and the low loader color itself has been advanced and there is a new texture on here as well. So we're going to go into the store and we're going to check this out. Where are you going to find this? You're going to find this in low loaders and it's going to be one of the very first ones right here. Special low loader. Boom. Main color. Got quite a few here. We have the standard. We have the turquoise, which is real bright. <laughs> and then we go into our standard colors from there. Now, in rim color, we've got a few different options here. We got some new ones. We have a polished metal, which is basically your chrome. Uh, we also have chrome, which I, TBH. Can't see much of a difference between these. I uh, think chrome's just a little bit more dull a little bit more matte nonetheless uh, we also have the turquoise so if you want to go with that as well you can go with the turquoise and then we go right into our main colors from there down here with design we have without override aids and with override aids what that's going to do is that's going to add these little boxes back here that allow you to drive up a tractor or something like that uh, if you're not using forestry with this that makes it a whole lot easier to get other pieces of equipment up there and in wheel setups, we have without steering, which basically just keeps the front stationary. We also have steering 15% and steering 30%. So that's gonna be the front axle, how much it's turning with you. I prefer to go all the way with it and I have 30% installed. You can see it's turned just a little bit, but it's gonna turn 30 degrees total. Plus, got these nice uh, the wheels on the back, they turn as well. Just overall better options for you right there. But hey, give it a try with and without. Tell me what you guys think. But with all that being said, that is literally it for today. Just the two mods. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I know it was a little bit of a different layout today, but hey, want to get the information to you across the best I could. But with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any questions about these mods that we've talked about today, let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know if you're going to be using either one of these mods. That being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.